This is my MM13, the jam build, Mark O'Neill's. I'm taking my time with this, so I'm not rushing it. This is Idic Beardis for your January challenge. I got four dark yellow. That's how many was on the sprue. I thought there'd be loads, but there weren't. Only four. Anyways, that's where I am. I've base coated these. And then this is for Russell Goslin's um, D Day build uh, Willie's photo edge resin bits. Yeah, if, there's, if I can't get all of these on, I might stick some on the um, on the jam, on the one tree, whatever the feckin' thing's called. I can never remember jam, why is it called a jam? Jam is what you eat. Fucking stupid things. Anyways, there you go. I got another pin in the door. Um, I won't sort of job, but I don't recognise it's from Germany. Uh, lovely, lovely stamps, but uh, I don't recognise the name. So I'm gonna see who this is from. I'm all excited again. <laughs> However, I have to go on to another. I might have to be going on to another hat. Um, so read the letter first, and then I'll be sure of the badge. Dear John, ah, congratulations on your 500 subs, well deserved. And close with this letter, you find three pins for your hat. You said you like sci-fi. I'm a huge sci-fi fan myself. Star Trek in particular, although it's been a while. A pin from the 30th anniversary of Star Trek I got. When I went to a screening of all movies, seven of them at the time, I had a Revel pin I thought you might like, but last but not least, a pin from our local football team. And that's from, she got a word up here, it's Galesh Ricken. I'm assuming that's a month. Right, let's have a look. FC Schalken. That's a football team. I got this. And then there's a little poly bag here. It's <coughs> 30th anniversary of Star Trek. Look at this. And a Revel badge. Look at that. How cool are them two? That's two Star Trek badges I've got now. How cool is that? And that's proper. That's proper. Shit. All right. And that's um, Sarah. That's Alestrian. Alastrian. I hope I'm spending it right, but that's her YouTube name, Alastrian. But I'll be putting uh, um, a thing in my jiggy and uh, um, like you know, a link into it. So, Alastrian, Sarah, thank you very much. You're a darling, Peg. Thank you. I'm gonna, they're going to go on the hat now. And just want to show everybody uh, the pins on the hat. What I've got in so far. I mean, it's outstanding. Oh, one's just gone. Um, it's just outstanding the amount of pins I've got. And uh, I'm still promised a load more. Thank you for everybody. And also as well, this is for Idic Beer, Nick. Glued and primed. We're doing these today. So that's for your challenge, January challenge. Cheers, Nick. Right, um, I'm looking for... Oh, by the way, I moved on to this hat now. Where's my pin? There. So I moved on to this hat. The other one is full of pins. Thank you very much, everybody. Right, but I need a little advice. Look, I've got this bust. And, uh, but it's resin. Right. Um, how, how do you get this off? Is, is this like, is there a special tool I can use? Now, I have a Dremel type of thing. It's not a real Dremel, but it's a fake Dremel. Would I be able to use that to cut that off, or is there a special resin tool that I need? Any little help would be uh, be great. Thanks very much, people. Thank you. Because uh, I wouldn't mind. I want. I'd like to see that glued, and uh, see what it looks like. You know, as a display before I start painting. I I won't be painting this until maybe March or something. But I'd like to get on and have a look at it. Anyways, thanks very much.